Pencil power. Why, hello there, art venturers. In this video, we're going to be looking at three ways to draw the nose from the most simple to like the most realistic. And they just build upon each other one after the other, and it's actually a very easy progression. And all three of the noses honestly look fairly realistic to me. So um, let's just get started, okay? So we've got, let's just put in three head shapes. We don't have to do anything super fancy. We can use one of our, you know, our face drawing just to lay out where these are. If you've seen the six ways of laying out a face drawing, you might recognize some of these. We'll use the monkey face for this one. Why not? Just to switch it up. All right. So you've got the three faces laid out. So for the first one, it's going to be just the shallow V. And there's basically a couple forms of this. You can do a shallow U, so it's not pointed in the middle, a V, or a more significant V. And you can do the upturned versions. And that's really basically it. You can get a pretty decent looking face, um, a nose for a face, just using that really simple V-shaped method right? Super easy. And the next level, you're going to take this V, and I'm going to go ahead and show you from front view, side view, and three quarters, because it's the exact same method works from all directions. And just adding a more, um, a lighter line on top gives it just a little more uh, definition, a little more uh, of a shape going on there. And you can see how even just adding that line is going to be the second level of the nose. You can get a very s simple character, but really like already getting a good idea of the features just from that. Right? And the third level, we're going to start off again just the same. The V and on top. But now we're going to bring the rest of the shape of the nose in. And from here we can also cut in some nostrils. I'll show you how to do this in more detail, but just to give you the overarching method, that's basically what we're looking at. And from here, you can add as much detail as you want. Once you learn the anatomy, you can go ahead and build out from there. But basically, you've already gotten a more uh, detailed, realistic looking nose. So let's go ahead and look a little closer at the more realistic nose. Because I think the first two, you know, you got a basic idea for. This one is, the second one is simply a diamond shape. The first one is this V shape, which we talked about. The second one is simply this diamond shape. And if you want, you can give a little shine on the end of the nose. And, uh, you know, it'll have this kind of stylized vibe, which I kind of like, actually. And then the third one, so let's go ahead and clear these. The third one, or actually, you know what, I'm going to keep that layer in case I want to come back to it for some reason. Um, when you've got the, the head shape, right, we use the sunglasses method this time. Put in our sunglasses, put our nose, boom. You're going to have the V shape. Let's start off, let's draw that a little lighter because I'll show you what we're going to do. V shape, good, making it into the... Um, what is that called? Diamond shape. And then with two lines tapering inwards, going all the way up to just about the eye line, maybe a little higher. And um, from there, two lines coming out like this. If you want to define the um, this area above the nose a little bit more, then let's just put in some eyes, or just put, leave the lines for the eyes. This guy's got his eyes closed. So from here, Going into this diamond shape, if you were to cut it in half each way and just carve out following these two lines, keeping it parallel but going inside, you can get the two nostrils. And from there, you basically got a more realistic nose from the front view. And then there's the, the middle line in the nose. 
and you can also keep in mind the upper and lower parts of the nose. Now I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want this to be a nose anatomy drawing video, which I will do in the future to get deep into the anatomy and all the little bumps and nooks and crannies of the nose, you know, so you can kind of really try to get a more realistic vibe. But for now, I just wanted to show you three levels of how to do this nose. And I want to go ahead and do it from two other views, the side view and the front view, because it's very similar in the way we'll do it. So let's go from profile side view first, because that one's actually easier. So we'll just go ahead and lay three faces in like this. Just kind of making a circle that's a little bit wider than it is tall, dropping the face line down, tilting slightly inward, and then coming around the middle and having another curved line like that. That's it, just to lay that out. Okay, and from here, the first one, literally, let's let's keep all the noses going from the bottom of the circle. Let's make them around there. From here, just having a line like that. You know, so if, or you could keep it straight even and connecting. This is going to be like a lot of kind of anime style nose or just something very simple. And um, just to show you, you could do it with a curved line too to get a different character like that. And it's going to come, you know, there'll be a little bit of a brow ridge usually, but, or for males, that'll be more pronounced. For females, it'll be softer. Okay, and then just so you can see kind of how it looks. And you'd see you get something like that. And you can see how even that can have a realistic-ish vibe without anything else. If you want, you can put a nostril in. I mean, the nostril kind of coming like that. So you have the nose like this. There's a nostril here and another line like that. Basically, that will give you a simple, a simple nose. You can even leave it without and have kind of a more stylized vibe. I think the eyes should be a little bit lower. There we go. All right. For the next level, same thing, but let's do our whole diamond. We've already kind of gotten into this, and we just connect it up there and have a little bit of the, the brow ridge, right? And what we've done here is now you can see that there's a separate area for the end of the nose, than there is for the bridge. So what we've done is we've kind of gone like that and instead of coming straight from here, though you can do that, everyone's got there's all sorts of noses, you could just start from there and have that be the nose, right? But instead, if you just give it a little, go a little inwards and have the nose, then you've got this nice little differentiation between the, I don't know the anatomical names, but between the tip of the nose and the uh, bridge of the nose, the more top part. <laughs> so that'll already create a pretty pretty good distinction and get you get you going. And again, then you can carve out nostril like that. So just coming from the bottom of the thing, and kind of following, so if there was more sharp, so you'd be following this line. So that's the nose, right? Say so we've got the nose like that. You'd be following this line first for the nostril and then curving with an upside down U back all the way to the end of this, um, the shape you've created, this diamondy shape and then following that edge of the diamond shape. You don't have to connect it though, you can have it come in like that. And from there, you've already got the nose shape. Cool. And then we've really already done the more realistic one, which is basically, yeah, I actually, I skipped ahead of myself, where you kind of draw in the whole nostril, you have the nose shape, and then you can actually kind of see how it would this line will be more up and down, and then this is going to, you know, you're basically just going to have the line up and down like that. And then just to get into the three-quarter view, which is really going to be almost exactly the same, it's a little trickier when you can see both nostrils, but we'll see. I guess I made the draw a little farther. 
So let's get into the three quarter view because this is basically the realistic one. Um, there's not much more to it than that. You know, you might come down and have, but that's more getting into the lip drawing area. So for the three quarters, we're going to start again with our circle. We're going to use the basic way that you see a lot of people doing, um, where you drop the plumb line, kind of following the shape of the curve, and then put it in the jaw. And I'm not going to make them, you know, too perfect. We'll just work with uh, with what we got. But I do want them all to fit. Oops. Oops. Freehand. There we go. So, Let's move this over. It would have been faster to just redraw them, but that's okay. Make them roughly the same size. All right, cool. So from here, our most basic one, we're going to again come down right here at the bottom of the circle. Our most basic one, and we can do, is like this. But the thing that's a little bit different is that the part on the, so on this side, on the left side of this line, is going to be longer and more flat. And this side is going to be shorter and going up just slightly. You know what I'm saying? So same even if you do, it's easier to see with two lines like that. But if you do a curve, it's the same where you see how there's more on this side of the line. And also this curve is more shallow. And then it gets a little bit less shallow and shorter on the other side. So that's going to be the big difference when you're laying out something really simple like that for the first level of the nose. And let's just kind of put in a little bit something so you can see in reference, you see it in, in action, see what it looks like. Cool, just like that, right? The next level, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna just do the top of it too. And that's it. I'm just gonna leave it just like that. It's got a little more weight, and you can see that now that nose is, you know, actually, arguably, this one's more realistic, and um, the second one's more stylized. Um, but if you want, you can start to come up like that and add a little extra. And that's basically where we're going to get into the third level, where it starts off the same. Um, you got the, the, uh, the diamond shape. And let's put in some eyes here. All right. And then from here, coming over, not all the way in all, I should maybe exaggerate this a little bit more, because imagine it's like that, right? Where this side is flatter. See how it's kind of, if you imagine it coming out in space like that, the side's flatter, smaller, this side's longer. This one doesn't look as, doesn't have that going on as much, but this face is just barely turned three quarters. And then not coming all the way to the edge, not like that, but actually just a little ways in, having the, the um, bridge of the nose, I think we'll call it, coming out from there. And you can have these coming out too. I've actually, this one, they look better if you have them um, curved like this. I'm going to exaggerate it so you can see. Because it's almost like the eye is going to sit inside of. You see that? Like that almost actually works. It's a little, it's pretty exaggerated. But you get the idea of like that's how the eye is going to sit in there. But to stay focused on the nose, then from here you do the same thing where you cut out the nostrils on both ends. See, and then this is a little bit trickier because it curves inwards. So you're going to want to think of the nose actually sticking out like that. So instead of dividing the nostril, the this thing, right down the center like that, try to imagine it in more three dimensions. So you've got that shape. And from here, if you follow the, the lines, then you're seeing that the nostrils will come out looking like they're in pretty good, pretty good proportion. And then here, this comes down like that because we want to give the nose like it's sticking out like this. If you can draw these kind of boxes, it's basically that thing. So that's why this line is this line. Okay, and then connecting straight down. But I like to give it a little puff. 
So to exaggerate, it would be like that. I'm not sure why that works. I think it follows the contour of the face a little better, but um, that seems to work for me. I wonder if, you know, there might be other ways to go about it, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna show you guys in this video. And that's pretty much it um, from here if you wanna connect that little bit there and shade it in. And you basically got like a more realistic nose. So to pop it on our friend over here, see we got something like that going on. And then, you know, he's got his nose coming out there. So like that. And that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, here. We've got the, you know, the bridge of the nose defined. And he's coming back in space. And so, you know, the eye will be sitting back here. And then that's pretty much it. I think you've basically gotten the nose down in three different uh, like levels of realism. See what I'm saying? So if you have any questions or you want me to go into more detail on any of these levels or do like a demonstration drawing or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I know I kind of whizzed through these pretty quickly, but I feel like this gives you a really quick outline and as you experiment and play with it in your sketchbook, kind of going from the first, second to third phase, you'll start to really get a feel for like, oh, okay, this is how it works, and you'll kind of figure it out yourself. So I want you guys to have fun with that. All right. I um, hope this has given you a little bit more pencil, pencil power. power. And yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs>